Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in Wasteland Justice. Let those who dwell here in its favored land. Hey there, Glad Burke, you're back. explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally, I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. How are you? Not bad, not bad. I can assure you. I can assure you. I can assure you. I'm not Stop doing that so close I to me. I can. I can. I can. Good riddance. What's up? You need something? I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide there. Don't blow us up now. Stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy body. of us shall be mother and father. Yes? I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. You stay safe.
Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Certainly, sir. Here you are. Yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other and asks, Does this taste funny to you? My humor emitter array requires recharging. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Things are going well with you today, sir. Until the day of division. Long time no see. You taking care of yourself out there? Come back if you need something. Until the dawn hey. of your return. There'll be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and
say to me, kid? Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You catch on quick, kid. That's the way of it out here, for sure. You want something, you take it. Or you pay in cold, hard caps. Say, a hundred. Seems a fair price to facilitate a family reunion, don't you think? All right, kid. Then I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgiving place. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. I did say it was 100 caps. And, as I recall, you said no. So now, I'm saying it's 300 caps. What'll you say this time? I'm being reasonable. I'm also being a businessman. The information about your father must be worth quite a bit to you. Otherwise you would have never come back. With the rise in demand comes rise in price. The offer is 300 caps and it stands. Well, that's a shame for you, isn't it? You don't have the caps and I guess I don't have the information. Disappointment all around. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Tell it to Gob. He'll get you whatever you need. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Don't let me keep you. Don't look at me like that. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. I can't talk about that anymore. Moriarty will beat me again if I do. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep... I like your... 
Come back soon. What's up? Come back if you need something. Please help me. I need water. I'm dying. You mean... You don't want anything for it? I don't have any caps or anything. I can just have... I can just have it for free? Water. Oh, precious water. Thank you. You're a saint.
your heart. A coward is much more exposed to quarrels than a man of spirit. I'm President John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio.
So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people. Especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real though. Absolutely. Good luck with that research. found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. Anyway, what's up with you? Sure thing. Good hunting! Have fun out there, okay? No suffering, for in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Welcome to Megaton. Enjoy your stay. Please, I'm dying. I need water.
if it isn't the little safe from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. Why? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah well, time to die. Ha! I love it when they go down fighting. Uh -oh. I was 
Loading Personality, Robco R04V9, Office Helper. Running default office protocol. Air or loading daily agenda. Air or security breach detected. Please stand back. Greeting, fellow office employee. Please present your valid ID. Warning, scan failure. Please present ID. Or exit.
just like Doc Church. That's and yes, I can see you eye and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the word of the Lord. You'd best have cancer because from the looks of you, you planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? You done? Good. Try to be careful. Forth and drink the waters of the globe, for this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. Let it serve as a reminder of the So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did! Well, all right! Tell me all about it. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm, I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit, my treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, Better. <laughs> Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Sure thing. Good hunting. Try not to die. <laughs>